did not practice yesterday, a little bit under the weather, but she did shoot around this morning, and the Huskies get it going with speedy point guard Mariah Jefferson. Short, you can see that she has a big height advantage underneath against Jenkins. They get it to her where she is enveloped. Jefferson, quick as lightning. Yeah, she's had very spirited practices. They run a lot during practice. Mosqueda Lewis very rarely in this two in a row. General, and as Sue mentioned, Springfield, they rely on to be more of an offensive threat. No Jefferson, forget about it. She gets out in the open court, it's Taps on this team. They also have actually three Spaniards. They have a Portuguese player, a Swede, and a Dane. They are certainly an international club. Yeah, this one just brings it right back oh. to you, even on a make. Yeah, they stuff it right down your throat. Mosqueda Lewis, money. He's a horrendous <laughs> passer into the post. He is not one to mince words. You kind of know where you stand, yeah. right? Without a doubt. You don't have to sit there and analyze it. Good job by Stewart. It seems side. like, the, like I said, the one bright spot, the one place they can maybe attack Connecticut. Tuck attacks the basket. Really like this player. We yeah. you know you want to shoot. We're going to make somebody else beat us. She's taken eight shots. She's hit two of them. And Gabby Williams to a respectable level, but they are still down by 14. They're just not shooting the ball well. Round the horn to Mosqueda Lewis. And that is kind of uh, stuck in the claw of some of them. Oh, Morgan Tuck right down the pike. Yeah, it is. You can tell. Connecticut, we were the cream of the crop. Louisville now in the ACC. All right, Jefferson has a chance for a three-point play. Little Euro That step. vertical helps her out. She's Tuck, a good shooter. Tuck's a good player. Goes in with her off. Williams knew it was short. Jefferson on the fly. Three on one. Tuck finishes and gets fouled. And there's a big kid in Morgan Tuck at 6'2", running the floor with the guards and gets rewarded for it. But a very impressive first half for the Connecticut Huskies as they lead USF 49-31. to This team, on the other hand, shooting in the 20s. Kalina Mosqueda Lewis, not just a three-point shooter. Does that do things weird? Make them uncomfortable. Yes. Take them out of what they're used to seeing. Nurse passed up the long shot for that one a little while ago. Yeah, and a lot of people talk about Kia and her experience on the Canadian national team. And, you know, I was able to play against her in, in a friendly game prior to World Championships. And great pass by her to Mariah for the three. But it's, it's, to her now, yeah. Right. So it's, it's a huge event. So even though she is a freshman, she has a lot more experience with playing upper level competition. No, but their shots. Stewie didn't let that one go very far. Maybe two millimeters off of her fingertips before she got the block. And then Morgan Tuck unchecked. And Jefferson found it. She's been working on, from what I understand, and she's improved on it. USF had gone over nine minutes without a field goal. So now it's shown. That's it. Courtney Eckmark, freshman from Phoenix, has checked in. There's Stewie Stone. The giving of a hard time, that, that does lead to something. Because if, if you could make a three with him in your ear, yeah. 10,000, 15, 20,000. I know South Carolina right now is number one, but UConn, hard to imagine that anybody's playing better basketball right now. And down in Tampa to close out the season on March 2nd. But another impressive win for the Huskies. Gina Oriama's club is at 92 to 50.